Let's talk about ratings right now. Um, you know, both championship games, over 50 million viewers. What do you attribute that those record-breaking numbers to? And in all honesty, how much is it the Taylor Swift effect? Good point. <laughs> um, I would tell you it's because of the great competition. Um, listen, the competition has been off the charts this year. Um, we've had 70 games that I think 70% of our games have been within one score in the fourth quarter. Um, the, the young stars, the older stars, the, the amazing performances by teams, you see all that. That's what fans ultimately love. Having the Taylor Swift effect is also a positive. Listen, they, they're, both Travis and Taylor are wonderful young people. They seem very happy. She knows great entertainment. And I think that's why she loves NFL football. But I think it's great to have um, have her a part of it. Uh, obviously, it, it creates a buzz. It creates uh, a, another group of young fans, particularly young women, that um, are interested in seeing why is she going to this game? Why is she interested in this game? Besides Travis, she's a football fan. And I think that's great for us. Football girl won a couple Grammys the other night. We're yep. proud of her, obviously, and mm -hmm. pumped up for her. He also talked about the NFL being rigged or scripted in an actual press conference. What do you say to those who think it's all scripted by the NFL? <laughs> I don't think I'm that good a scripter um, or anybody on our staff. I, I, I think it's, you know, I listen, there is no way uh -oh. that I could have scripted that one. Let's <laughs> oh. just put it that way. But she is, um, oh. or anybody in our office, she's, she's a or remarkable anybody. performer. She knows great entertainment. I had the opportunity to go to two of her concerts with our girls and my wife. Um, I, she she's the best of the best and and so having her come to nfl games have her a part of that is nothing but a positive so obviously so i'm not that good of a scripter and i think what we've been saying about the nfl is rigged crowd is we could see why you would think what you're thinking because the nfl's writings are doing this they must be doing something to cook the books when nobody else can seemingly keep up but then you're giving credit to a lot of people mm -hmm. like a lot of people and roger so many moving parts think about that well and also masterminds and you know like the amount of ma like roger goodell when he's laying in bed at night or laying on his <laughs> ladder chair eating peanut ms watching nfl football in his basement doing his thing he has to think to himself when he's away from the cameras and nobody here's these people think i'm a genius these people got me <laughs> writing a script for an entire league that's getting 200 million people to watch the season finale of what i watched and the matter of fact is i get it that you maybe got screwed or a ref made a bad call we've all been there we've been pissed yep. okay we've all been there we've all been pissed but the amount of people that would have to be in on this for this to happen is absurd and also think about if it didn't work out this way what the story would be like, let's say Lamar Jackson made it. You don't think that's a storybook type mm -hmm. rigged script that the NFL would potentially want to put together? How about the D Detroit Lions? Mm -hmm. yes. The brand new Lions. You don't think the people would say that's a fairy tale ending? The NFL is a beautiful thing that these are even being accused of happening, but the amount of stories in fairy tale book mm -hmm. endings there could be is never ending, which is why the NFL is continuing up and to the right, AJ. Well, I mean, they don't need to script it. That's the thing. Like people want to act like there's but all this, in this. Yeah, there's all this collusion and all this stuff happening. You don't have to do that. I mean, you have 22. You have 11 on 11 facing each other. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of coaches, a lot of different things happening. Like you don't have to do that. Like this just naturally plays out. You said it, though. Think about the script. They started the season, Lions and Chiefs, and then the Lions run. And if they would have been the last game of the season too, oh, oh, that script, that would have been the script. That would have been a full yeah. callback. We would have had callbacks yeah. in the entire <laughs> script. They kind of missed that. But I would just like to say, I understand where corporate chills. Okay. I understand oh, yeah. people just tell us what to say mm -hmm. and we have no brains or thoughts. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I would just like to let people, I don't have faith in humans enough to be able to execute it. I, I think you're giving people far too much credit. We've got a chance to peek behind a curtain in a lot of different companies and the people that are at the top, <laughs> not as, yeah. you know, not as, you know, so you're giving people a lot of faith. Just remember that, but we will certainly stay open-minded.